Indian business is dominated by family-owned enterprises and most of them have been traditionally patriarchal. But a lot is changing. A new generation of educated young ladies are walking in, wanting to drive change. Sminu Jindal has been a torchbearer here. She joined business in 1991. And amidst the hectic work schedule, she has two young boys and she also runs an NGO Swayam to help disabled people like her. Sminu Jindal might have been born with a silver spoon, but she says managing work and family mean a big balancing act for her, pretty much like all other women. I think women are born managers that way. Hmm. They're just born into uh, making things work. Managing a household is not easy with the finance. I mean, you're the finance head, you're the uh, corporate com head, you are the manufacturing head, you're the administrative head, you're, mind, you're, you're managing a whole uh, radar of things which you never even thought you could. I mean, I just feel so strongly that women can be such good managers, they just underestimate themselves. Really? What can organizations do, uh, uh, Smino, to get more women into the workplace and get them and encourage them to really go to the next level, you think? Uh, organizations would really benefit to have lots of women work for them because I think they come with natural empathy, natural intuitiveness. Uh, God made man and woman with different styles of working. Man is more practical, more logical. Women are intuitive, but doesn't make them any lesser. Uh, and I feel businesses need to look at them differently. When they take a sabbatical, especially I think all women, we all have to go through that uh, creation aspect, you know. So when we get married, have our babies, we have to take a sabbatical because uh, to a degree, I think all women feel they can do a better job with the children than leaving them with their husbands. So. Mm -hmm they want to be hands-on but once they come back I think they're greater managers they've added a skill to their life which has been an integral part it wasn't for two hours it wasn't for like six months that they were trained it was like for a period of like at least a year or two years and they were breathing living in it day in day out. So you out. believe that and that's an interesting new angle because you believe that uh, motherhood uh, makes women juggle far more and hence yes. makes them better natural managers than most organizations give them credit for. Yes, I really, really believe in it. And I feel it's not fair when a woman comes back after a sabbatical for her um, increments, for her going up the ladder should be measured the same way the, uh, a man learns. Mm. I mean, uh, it's a shame that we don't really see it that way. But I'm sure it'll come one day that organizations learn to respect women folk. What is your style of uh, leadership? Is it different from what your father was? Uh, yes, uh, very uh, different uh, from uh, my father. Yeah. <laughs> so how, what, what is the perspective? Is it a generational shift? Is it a gender shift, you think? Mm, very different from my father because my father is seen as a very, very polite, very, very humble human being. Um, and I'm seen as a very assertive person. Yeah. A person who just goes on numbers, um, who compares figures. Uh, You're more hard-nosed. Yeah, <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> That's the right word, probably. Uh -huh. uh, because aggressive would be a little bit too strong. Uh, but I'm a, I can be a little bit over-assertive sometimes. Okay. But... Uh do you think that's because women have to fight harder to get where they are to make a stronger point or is it that is it just that you're we definitely need to know the figures better yeah you think women have to yeah. be better prepared for a meeting yes. or or uh, or a review than than men even if you're the boss because uh you're still fighting the intuitive and the logic not that women don't have logic but they just have a sense of things that they take so these. you need to back your intuition with numbers. yes exactly so that that's so, where you think uh, that's where a little balance is needed, but if one is able to achieve that, women are great managers. You know, I was talking to uh, uh, a representative of a very old family-owned uh, group, and he was telling me, and he was very logical, he's a very educated, erudite man, he was telling me very logically that it's a stated policy within the family that only a son will inherit. It is patriarchal because 
of the fact that families believe that when a girl gets married into another family and you have a son-in-law coming in, there will be adjustment issues, especially when it comes to inheritance. Is that the essence of the patriarchy or is that mindset also changing? Um, the mindset I think is changing a bit because uh, maybe somewhere down the line they realize that that's what they do even if they have their sons and daughter-in-laws coming and they have to do the same kind of management in terms of inheritance and uh, uh, in case you have daughters and you have son-in-laws coming who are capable who can who are able to take the businesses forward why not i think those mindsets are changing now we see a um, whole lot of uh, son-in-laws in the businesses also family run businesses your husband so, is in the business yes my so uh, how, is in how the much business. acceptance is there to the fact that uh, you know uh, was uh, there an issue because he was always with the group so in that sense uh, yeah. Is it a comfortable situation? Was it uncomfortable at times? Well, uh, he had the qualification. He was Harvard graduate and uh, he was with Rockefeller Foundation before he joined and his business acumen is excellent. And acceptance has been really nice. And But like I make uh, things sound breezy, like you said, uh, it wasn't really breezy. You, he had to still prove himself, you know, in terms of capability just like anybody else I mean if you uh, even have hired a CEO the person has to prove themselves so this was nothing less than that you just have to prove your metal.